So a little while ago, I did a Q&A video and people were kind of mad because I didn't ask you anything. So I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions today. All right, well, you haven't attacked me yet, so I'm gonna take that as a yes. Let's see here. Uh, how old are you? Okay, no answer to that one. Where are you originally from? Okay, no answer to that one. I think you're gonna like this one. Is your brain really the size of a walnut? What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. Lately we've been having a lot of fun with snub nose revolvers. Well today I thought we would make a video with every wrist breaker I could think of. Well, at least all the wrist breakers I could get my hands on. There is a plethora of pain on this table over here. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Hidden Hybrid Holsters for sponsoring today's video. This is an inside the waistband holster that they just sent me from my Glock 19. It's OD green and matches my OD green Glock. This thing is super comfortable. I really like this holster a lot. Be sure and check them out. There's a link in the description down below. And if you use coupon code Kentucky21, you'll get 21% off your purchase. So really nice of them. Be sure and check them out. So now let me show you what we got on this table here. First is a Smith & Wesson M&P model 340. This is a 357 Magnum, a lightweight frame, and the barrel's like, 1.8 inches next is a smith and wesson model 29 44 magnum with a three inch barrel next is a ruger super red hawk alaskan with a two and a half inch barrel and this is chambered in 454 casul then we have a 460 smith and wesson magnum performance center with a three inch barrel and then another performance center except this one's chambered in 500 smith and wesson magnum and it also has a three inch barrel and then last we have a magnum research BFR with a three inch barrel and this is chambered in 4570. This video is gonna be nothing but pain, but I'm so excited to shoot each and every one of these. So real quick, I wanted to show you all the ammunition side by side. Starting left to right, we have a 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, 454 Casul, 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, and 4570. Okay, I've got them all loaded up. We're about 12 yards back from our still target. Let's start with the smallest and work our way up to the biggest. Okay, up first is the 357 Magnum. Man, that's got some snap to it. Man, that thing does not play around. That definitely has some kick. If you weren't holding on to that, <laughs> that'd be a bad day for you. Okay, now the 44 Magnum. I would say that 357 Magnum has more snap than this, and the 44 is more of a push. I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I, I'm not excited at all about shooting this one. The Ruger Super Red Hawk Alaskan in 454 Casul. This is, this one's always been pretty painful to shoot. I'm not very excited. I'm not, not very excited at all about this one. Woo, man. That doesn't feel good to shoot. It's not as bad as I remember, but it's, it's not pleasant. That's all of them. Yep. My hand's definitely getting a workout today. All right. Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum, three inch barrel. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome.
goodness. <laughs> 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Our target is holding strong. I'm, I'm pretty impressed that it's still standing. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Luckily, I brought a cinder block. Goodness. All right. Last one. The 4570 three inch barrel. Man. I don't know which one kicks more, that or the 500. They're pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty similar, I would say. How many do I got left? The five. Yeah, it was all of them. I tell you what, if I ever have anyone out on the range to film with me, this is going to be my challenge. We're going to call this the wrist breaker gauntlet. I feel like I should shoot each one one handed now. What do you think? So before I put myself through any more pain, I want to let you know that KentuckyBallistics.com is up and running and it's super easy to get your Kentucky Ballistics clothing now. We have all new designs coming and new colors. To celebrate this, we're doing a giveaway. You're going to have two weeks to get entered. There's a link in the description down below. You just put your email in and you're good to go. We're going to be giving away shirts, stickers and memorabilia these are 50 bmg steel cores from previous videos one is from the stretch armstrong video and the other two are from the atlas stone video first through third place get a shirt sticker and a steel core fourth and fifth place get a shirt and a sticker so be sure and get entered link is in the description down below okay i have to do it i'm going to shoot each one of these one-handed first up is the 357 magnum That's a snappy little thing. 44 Magnum. Nice. The 454 Casul. Woo! 460. Dang. 500. Smith and Wesson Magnum. Woo! Okay, now the 4570. Man, I think the 500 kicks more than the 4570. At least at this moment with this ammunition. Also, there is not an ejector rod on this because of how short the barrel is and how long the cylinder is. The cylinder is almost longer than the barrel. Well, I forgot the ejector rod. So I've improvised. I went over to my truck and I took a pin apart and it works perfectly for ejecting these spent casings. <laughs> you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's watermelon time. If you're curious about what ammo I'm using for the 4570, I'm using double tap. For the 500, the 460, the 454 Casul, and the 44 Mag, it's all Underwood ammo. And then the 357 Magnum, I'm just using some Federal. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Dang. That threw watermelon all the way over there. Dang. Whoa. Whoa. Well, we almost got watermelon on the guns that time. Hitting a little high. 
I was aiming dead center. So let's do it again and aim a little lower. Aim even lower. Goodness. There we go, that's a little better. There we go, that's better. There we go, that's better. I had to aim really low with that. The 350 grain, they hit dead, I mean, they hit right where you're aiming, but those are hitting pretty low. Now for the big guy with the 4570. Well, watermelon is still falling. Let's try and shoot two at once. So let's do the 357 Magnum and the 44 Magnum. Not too bad. 454 Casula and 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Goodness. And last, Let's shoot the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum and the 4570 at the same time. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay, last, I think we should truly dual wield two of these things. So we have the Smith & Wesson 460 and the Smith & Wesson 500. Both snub noses, both three inch barrels, both loaded up full of Underwood ammo. Let's let her rip. ridiculous I don't think I can see anymore well I think that's gonna wrap up the video my wrists have had enough today don't forget to check out the new clothing at KentuckyBallistics.com and also don't forget to get entered in the giveaway links to both of those can be found in the description down below if you enjoyed today's video give it a like and if you're not already subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics go ahead and hit that subscribe button also be sure to check me out on patreon Facebook Instagram and Twitter Links to all those can also be found in the description down below, or you can find them on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.